What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the whatever comes out for Virgo. What's up Virgo? Hope you guys are doing beautifully well today. So I just decided to do a random pull. Let's see what comes out. All right. I'm going to pull some tarot and then some oracles. All right, let's get right into it. Oh, you got a side message. I've been clarifying side messages with these randoms, so we're going to clarify this. You have the Page of Cups. <clears throat> page of Cups in reverse. You're not listening to your intuition about something, okay? Stop allowing people to um, dictate how you move. But you have the Page of Pentacles in reverse with the Three of Cups in reverse. Who are these people? Who is this Page of Who is this Three of Cups in reverse? Liars. Okay, Seven of Cups, King of Wands, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Whoever these friends or family are, they do not have the best intentions for you here. Point period blank. All right, they're 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 wanting they're lying to you about something. The two of the two of cups could be about a relationship, a separation here that you let go of. They're lying to you about it. What are they what are they lying about? They're saying it's not balanced and that's not and that um someone is stuck on the past or something like that. That's not true. That's not true. If you want to give something to someone, go ahead and do it. Okay? These people are ugh. What is this page of pentacles in reverse? I'm sorry, we just had to open this. Ace of Cups in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Cups. In reverse. You decided, I see you decided not to accept something from someone because someone doesn't keep their promise here. But I feel like there's more to this. What is this Knight of Cups in reverse? This is your wish. Are you kidding me? What is this Knight of Cups in reverse? Could be an Aquarius. This person was in and out, okay? But they were scared to take a leap of faith with you. It's not because it's they were scared. Why? Their finances. They felt like they... They didn't want to, they would, they didn't want to regret it. And with this devil here, I feel like, um, they've been through some stuff. They didn't want to regret this new beginning. And I also feel like their finances wasn't up to par, but yeah, don't be taking advice from nobody right now because people don't know what the F they're talking about. All right. <clears throat> that was a side message. <laughs> Let's get to the real reading now, Virgo. Okay. All right. Spirit Virgo. Bottom of the deck is the high priestess in reverse. Okay, you're you could be dealing with a um Pisces, but again, you're not listening to your intuition. Didn't I say that in the beginning too? All right, so you have the page of pentacles. <sighs> Why? What is this? You have the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, Ten Ten, Angel Number, if you want to look that up, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I was about to call you Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Or have that in your chart. I see you wanting to offer something to someone. I absolutely see that. It's like you want to... You want to come back into someone's life or you want them to come back here and you, and you want to do it in a team or collaboration here. But I feel like there's heavy family energy here and I'm not going to knock that down. I feel like there's finances and family that is stopping this from happening. And I feel like someone depends on someone's depending. And I think it's you. I'm not going to lie, but take it how it resonates. Someone's depending too much on the fact that the family is not with it. You know, um, but you're not listening to your intuition because I feel like your, your intuition is telling you, go for it anyway. Who gives a F? Who, do, do these family members pay your bills? I don't think so. Are these family members going to be here working together with this situation? I don't think so. Unless, I don't feel like they have anything to do with you trying to work this out with someone. <sighs> Look at this. Listen to your intuition. You're all that in a bag of chips, okay? Now, if something already closed out, then you need to um i feel like you closed out a journey you closed out a cycle already you did and you were a lot happier by closing that cycle out and now you want to start this and now it's a problem i don't know 
these family, these friends, they don't really know what the F they're talking about. Um, and I feel like they're all up in your business for no reason. But let's keep going. You have the fleeting and the warrior. They want you to stop running. Like, what are you running from? Fight for what you want. Fight for what you want. Who gives a f if your family doesn't doesn't like listen? Your family is only supposed to be, you know, not only, but if your family, if these people that you're taking advice from are not in a situation where you want to be in, you should not be taking advice from them. Point, period, blank. Okay? Family love to, to come and intervene and do whatever and do whatever because of what has happened before or, you know, they like to judge. You know, family, family be the first people that like to judge and like to point fingers and like to say all this extra stuff, right? Friends and family too, right? Um... But at the end of the day, this is your life, Virgo. Like, and these people are getting me tight right now. <laughs> the energy that's coming off of them is giving me upset because I'm just like, why are y'all doing this to Virgo? Why do y'all care what, what Virgo got going on? This could be about your finances, your money. A lot of pentacles on this freaking table right here. It doesn't have to be though. You know, it's just like, they're way too nosy. Look at this listening. They're all up in your business. Oh, heck no, bro. Virgo, I don't like this, man. You're going to create some boundaries for these people, something, because you got the right idea. Go for this opportunity, accept it, or go give it, whatever. These people are just upset because you're taking this opportunity and it might, you might become a different person or it might give you certain, a stature that then they can't reach you at no more. It might require you to do, to move differently where they can't have access to you anymore. And maybe that's the point. Maybe that's maybe that's what the universe wants is to you is for you to kind of create some boundaries with these people a little bit because they're all up in your sauce, bro. They're all up in it, and it's like uh, okay, it's too much flavors now. The sauce is nasty. Now we got to throw it out. Love, look at this. Choose yourself, my love, and that's why you're not listening to your intuition because you want to offer something. You want to take this offer, but because these family members are throwing stuff in your head and oh, saying this and this and that and. I don't even know, right? It could be, it could get worse, Virgo. You never know. It could get worse. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe if you actually sat down and looked at yourself with your life, your life could get better. Because I'm pretty sure yours is worse. Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't like when people, you know, I don't like that. All right. Anyway, you have the high priestess of water. A lot of you guys could have Pisces. Ooh, I said Pisces. It, you could have Pisces in your chart or a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it makes you, this makes you emotionally happy. Emotionally happy. You accepting this offer because it's going to take you out of this, um, this financial situation that you've been in or this feeling alone. If this is a love situation, like this makes you emotionally happy. And that's how you know that it's for you. The excitement that you get about offering this or taking this, that is the feeling that you need to go. And these people can't feel that. They're not seeing that. They're not you, you know? F then, anyway, you have hope. Stay hopeful. Do not lose hope. I, I'm surprised the star card didn't come out because I feel like whatever this is, you true, you really want this. It's your, it's like your wish, understanding. I feel the universe wants you to understand that these people just, they're just not on the same wavelength as you. And that's okay. That is okay. But do not keep feeding them, right? Do not give them, the, keep giving them the cord to affect your decisions or to be in your energy, right? Create some boundaries. You have message. Yeah, they're about to come and these, these family people are about to come and tell you something here. That is going to make you realize, oh, y'all just need me. Y'all don't want me to take this opportunity because if I take this opportunity, then I can't help y'all no more. Then it, then you won't be any access to you. Did I not just say that? Mm-hmm. Thank you, spirit. Freaking thank you. What's at the bottom of the deck of this deck before I even shuffled? <laughs> shuffled. Trust that all will be well, Virgo. Listen, I can't make this up even if I try, guys. Like, I swear. You guys need to trust yourselves a lot more than you are right now. Give yourselves more credit. These people, 
And it'd be, it'd, be the, it'd be family. Family be the first ones. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. And that's okay. Because guess what? That's just the universe showing you who, who can come with you and who can't. Period. Who can who can um, have a taste of this new opportunity that's coming in for you? Who could enjoy it with you and who can't? That's it. Uh, Virgo. All right. You have... Take a reality check. Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but it's like, are you living for you or for them? Virgo, let's, let's really talk about it, right? Okay, you have make time for self-love. Like, you choosing this is you choosing you. And you not choosing this is you telling yourself, I don't deserve this. I'm not good enough for this. When you know you are. And that's not even your feelings. That's these people's opinions and, and stupid little... Let me not be mean, right? It's just the energy that they're giving is very negative. It's it's giving, um, we don't have access, Virgo. What are you doing? Open the door. And whatever you're doing is better meant for you, bro. Like this, this with the page of pentacles, this has potential to grow into something way bigger. It's good. It looks small to you right now. And it probably looks small to them too. These greedy people, they're probably mad greedy. And they're like, Virgo, that's it? Like, that's all? Come on now. Because then, because then, because they want more. Uh, sorry. Okay. Next card you have is release your blocks. Yeah, these people. Release them. Even if and I get it, this family you can't just cut them off. Create space. You don't have to be over their house every freaking day, Virgo. You don't have to be calling or texting these people every single day. You don't have to be. You don't. Okay. Create some distance. You have go wild. Like, choose what makes you feel good here. You're about to be in the spotlight too. And they might not like that either. You might start getting a whole bunch of attention. And they feel like, oh, Virgo's going to kick us to the curb. Virgo's going to do whatever. Virgo's going to be going on their way and being famous and going to leave us. Yeah, well, Virgo got Virgo got a life, a soul path that they're following and they're trusting their intuition. How about y'all do the same? Because everybody has a certain soul path. Everybody does. And obviously, these people are too busy to worry about your life. Let me stop. I need to calm down. I have an Aries son, all right? And um, she gets a little spicy sometimes, all right? Then you have assess the situation. So yeah, what does it really make sense to not take this offer that makes you feel amazing? Let's talk about it. Find balance. Some of you guys, like I said, you ju you're just gonna have to create some balance and keep these people at bay. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you can't completely cut these people off and I get it. Keep them at bay. Find a balance. Only go over during, you know, holidays, during certain occasions. Maybe only go over twice a month, right? But create distance because they are causing a lot of stiff. And you have talk less, feel more. This, this opportunity is going to heighten your intuition out the wazoo, especially if you have Pisces in your chart. But this, that's why it feels the way it does, because it that is the path that your soul wants to go to, because you're going to become a, a you think you're powerful now, Virgo, you're about to become way more powerful, way more intuitive. And it's just, you're going to, and I feel like these people know it. I feel like these people know it and they sense it and they can see it. They can see it. And they don't want you to have this because again, not because they want bad for you, but because you, they can't have any access to you once you become this popping ass person that you're about to become, Virgo. Okay? All right. That's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.